Good morning students. I hope you all are fine and safe at home. Today I am here to teach you science and technology part 2. Students, if you see the index, it consists of 10 lessons mainly related to biology, environment, microbiology and biotechnology. So, today I will be teaching you lesson number 1, heredity and evolution. In this chapter, we will study heredity and hereditary changes, transcription, translation and translocation, evolution, evidence of evolution, Darwin's theory of natural selection, Lamarckism, speciation and human evolution. Let us first understand the meaning of heredity. It means transfer of biological characters from one generation to another. For example, this boy resembles his mother in skin color and father in height. This is because the boy has received the gene from both the parents. The boy has received the gene for height from his father and the gene for skin color from his mother. That's why the boy resembles his parents in color and height. But the boy differ from parents in other ways such as his curly hair, blue eyes which neither of the parents have. Any characteristic which is transferred to offspring such as height and color is known as trait. This process of passing trait from parents to offspring is called as heredity. Offsprings are never exact copy of parents. As you have seen in this case, there may be some differences. Curly hair, blue eyes of the boy are the differences that are called as variation. Now let us see the list of scientists who have done the research in the world of genetics. First one is Gregor Johann Mendel. He is father of genetics or you can say founder of genetics. He is also called as pioneer of modern genetics. Students, your pioneer means first scientist who started studying the characteristic of genes. It took time for him to understand the conclusion of his research about heredity. This research was done during the period of 1886. His research include genotypic and phenotypic characteristics of plant which we have studied last year. For example, tallness and roughness of pea plant, color and shape of pea plant, etc. Now students, in 1901, Hugo D. Rice understood the reason behind sudden changes due to mutation theory. Mutation theory helped him to understand the slow changes in the genes. For example, he noted most of the offspring look like the parent, but some look different. Similar experiment was performed by Darwin. He did not pay attention on minor changes in plants because number of minor changes was in less number of plants. Hugo D. Rice selected a plant, evening prime rose. After self-pollination, he observed maximum plant shows minor variation and few plants showed major variation. The group of plants which showed major variation were again self-pollinated and this major changes continued in every generation which resulted into evolution. Then students, the third scientist in 1902, Walter and Sutton, observed that chromosomes are in pairs. I hope you all know our body consists of 23 pairs of chromosomes. They observed the pairs of chromosomes in grasshopper body. It means grasshopper was the animals in which Walter and Sutton find chromosomes in pairs. Till then it was unknown to anyone. As soon as it was proved that genes are carried via chromosomes, 
the research started in direction of finding the nature of genetics material now in 1944 trio of scientist which means group of three scientist that is oswald every maclean mccarthy and colin macleod proved that all living organisms have dna as genetic material except viruses then the question which come in your mind is what is genetic material of viruses it is dna or rna so students you have to remember this thing that in case of viruses the genetic material is either dna or rna not both together next scientist in 1961 francois jacob and jack monad proposed a model for process of protein synthesis with the help of dna in bacterial cells it means how formation of protein takes with the dna it helped to decode the genetic code hidden in dna by understanding and identifying the code in dna it helps scientists to study the characteristics of heredity the signs of heredity is useful for diagnosis treatment and prevention of hereditary disorder production of hybrid varieties of animals and plants and industrial process in which microbes are used this is the list of names of scientists who contributed their research in study of dna first scientist is gregor johan mendel second scientist hugo de rais third scientist walter and sutton fourth scientist list of 3 Oswald Avery, Maclean McCarthy and Colin McLeod. Fifth scientist list of 2, Francois Jacob and Jack Monad. Now we are going to study protein synthesis. Before I teach you protein synthesis, I will tell you some basics. Basics are you need to understand what is nucleic acid the name itself is telling that acid present in nucleus there are two types of nucleic acid present in nucleus one is dna and other is rna dna means deoxy ribose nucleic acid and rna means ribose nucleic acid these are two types of nucleic acid in which dna is our genetic material you have to remember dna is a genetic material now speaking about rna we have to study three types of rna for protein synthesis before we start with protein synthesis we need to understand rna before this you should also know that how dna and rna are formed the basic unit of both dna and rna is nucleotides remember this thing now i am beginning with types of rna there are three types of rna students first one is mrna second one is rrna third one is trna now in mrna m stands for messenger in rrna r stands for ribosome and they are all called as ribosomal rna and the last one is trna t stands for transfer rna now students how they carry the function on the basis of that their names are given messenger rna consist of codon which codon codon of amino acids 
or you can say message for making proteins what is amino acid amino acid is the basic unit of protein for the process of protein synthesis for example as we have studied cell is the basic unit of our body similarly amino acid is the basic unit of protein what do we need for protein synthesis we need amino acid which amino acid will be placed where that codon is present in mrna total how many acids do our body have 20 types now ribosomal rna what is its work it help messenger rna for protein synthesis next trna trna contain anti codon students you might be thinking anti codon of what anti codon of codon codon is like a lock and anti codon is like a key when this lock and key gets match then amino acid is released in ribosome in that time rna help in joining amino acid and that is how rrna help both trna and mrna in protein synthesis these are three types of rna the main thing which you have to understand here is meaning of codon proteins are needed for carrying out various processes like muscles organ skin etc are made up of proteins in the blood it helps to transport nutrients and oxygen hormones are composed of protein etc here in this video we will understand the process of protein synthesis which involve transcription translation and translocation ideally speaking proteins are synthesized in the cells of the body here is a cell the basic unit of all living tissue in this human cell there is a structure called nucleus the nucleus contain the genome human genome is split between 23 pairs of chromosomes each chromosomes contain a long strand of dna double helix package around protein called histone the information needed for protein synthesis is present in dna of the cell it is located inside the nucleus however the actual process takes place outside the nucleus the information from dna is transcribed or copied to mrna a molecule similar to dna but with single strand it in turn transfer this information to ribosomes the ribosomes and trna use this information to produce proteins this basic flow of information from dna to rna and to ribosomes is called central dogma in science students it means that protein is synthesized by dna with the help of rna for understanding it in detail let us first revise the knowledge about dna a dna is a long molecule consisting of two strands that forms a helical structure like twisted ladder this structure is known as double helix for example students you can say that dna is a cookbook of the cell which consists of thousands of small segments some of which stores the recipes to produce proteins such segments are known as genes genes is made up of sugar phosphate backbone of pairs of nitrogenous bases the basic structural unit of dna consists of phosphate group five carbon sugar and one of the nitrogenous base it is called nucleotide students you are aware about adenine always form pair with thymine and 
likewise cytosine always form pair with q9 with this basic knowledge let us understand the three processes initially an enzyme called rna polymerase acts on dna and unwinds it from the starting sequence to transcribed or simply copied the enzyme takes only one strand as template and produce its complementary strand the unusual thing here is the formation of base uracil instead of thymine it happens because formation of uracil is energetically less expensive that is less energy is required for production of uracil as compared to the production of thymine the most important thing is information remains same even if the format is changed it is just like noting down the recipe from the cookbook in your own words this information is same but format is different students your dna determine the order in which free bases are added to messenger rna this process is called transcription once the transcription process is completed the dna strands rejoins and the mrna is transported outside the nucleus into the cytoplasm cytoplasm gathered around mrna and here starts the process called translation understand it like producing the food from the recipe the three nucleotide on mrna forms a code for an amino acid these are called triplet codon student you have to remember the code for each amino acid consist of three nucleotide or it is also called as triplet codon amino acids are the basic building blocks of protein for every triplet codon there is trna carrying on amino acid this sequence of trna is called anticodon here it means trna is forming a key for the lock that is mrna so students you have to remember nucleotide codes form on mrna is lock and anticodon of nucleotide forms on trna is key so it works like lock and key now inside the ribosome the stud codon is recognized a trna having anticodon with complementary sequence attaches to it likewise the next trna attaches to the next triplet codon the rna present in the ribosomes join the amino acids brought by the two trnas with peptide bonds it means when two amino acid come closer a peptide bond is formed between them once the bonding is done the trna corresponding to the first codon transfer amino acid to trna corresponding to the next codon this whole process is called translocation students here it means when peptide bonds are formed between amino acid the trna which brought amino acid will move in forward direction to form more amino acid the chains formed by different ribosomes joins together so as to form a complex protein together these processes can be termed as gene expression the familiar example is transferred of character from parents to child sometimes sudden changes occur in genes sometimes any nucleotide changes its position it cause a change in the organism characters this is called mutation some mutations may be minor but some may be considerable example mutation may cause the genetic disorder like sickle cell anemia
डॉक्टर हर गोविंद खुराना अ साइंटिस्ट ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन हैज मेड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन डिस्कवरी ऑफ ट्रिपलेट कोडोन्स फॉर ट्वेंटी एमिनो एसिड For this work, he has been awarded with Nobel Prize in 1968, along with two other scientists. Hope you all understood the topic. So, students, today we have studied heredity and heredity changes, transcription, translation, and translocation. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.